Ethan Boy's Alarms here, and this is System Test 2. Let's get started. So, for this system, well, last system I said that there might be a mechanical horn, but that's going to be next system, not this system. Decided to do something different this time. So, uh, the um, NBG-12L is still here from the last system, uh, and the BG-6 is still here from the last system. Uh, but over here on Zone 5, we have the Federal Signals 4050-001T. Uh, pulse station and as you can see we did get the new wire so uh, that's all in and all it's looking nice uh, and then over here we have the Edwards 278B111 no this is a 1120 uh, so 278B1120 and um, there's a box down there and that's because we wouldn't be breaking a glass rod in this pole station. Yeah. So let me get that taken care of uh, later on. I'll get that taken care of. Uh, up above it, we have the EST Genesis horn strobe. Um, and this is on NAC1, so it will be coded. Uh, so the strobe's not gonna flash as often. For this notification appliance, we have uh, this Wheelock CH70. Uh, with the simplex light plate on top of it. So that'll be interesting. And then over here we have the system sensor remote strobe. I can't remember the exact model number, but it is a Spectral Classic uh, and it is a ceiling mount. Uh, the model will be on screen, I guess. Uh, and then we have the same smoke and heat detector. These are never going to get swapped out unless I <laughs> accidentally permanently activate this thing, in which case. We will just come over here and grab another, just another one. <laughs> exact same thing. Which I actually have five of those uh, heat detectors. Not four like I thought. So yeah. So I'm going to get the glass rod in this. I'll be right back. All right. We have the glass rod in the pole station now. The system is set to code three. So here we go. No, it is not set to code three. Never mind. Uh, it turns out it's actually on March time, not code three. All right, uh, let me grab my key and grab the Edwards key. And we're going to take a look and see what kind of mess we have in here now. Yeah. A bit of glass. Well, that's what this box is for. <laughs> All right, let's... Let me actually lift that back up. Uh, give me a secker. All right, it's gonna take me a second. I'm gonna clean that out. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the glass out. Uh, it snapped right in half nicely. Uh, and the cleanup was not as much of a problem as I thought it was. There were no tiny pieces of glass inside the pole station. So very convenient. Uh, so I did reset the pulse station. I am going to reset the system now. So, yeah. So we ended up breaking the glass rod. I don't have any more of them, so yeah. I do still have some glass pieces, like for the call points and for the uh, 270 SPO. But other than that, don't have one for this. So, yeah, that was fun. All right. 
I just changed the system to code 3. Um, and I think I forgot to mention, but this is 1575 Candela, and this is on 15 Candela. That, well, it's not a strobe, so, oh well. Uh, and we are going to activate the 4050 001T. This system is much better compared to that very loud system that I had uh, the other day with the mass, uh, which was actually, uh, when was that really? Hang on. Uh, it is the second. So yeah, that was two days ago. So two days ago when I did the system with the mass, oh man, that was loud. <laughs> um, but much better, um, much better, much quieter having the CH70 instead of a very loud mass honking away. Yep, and uh, we are gonna re-alarm with the BG6. All right. So, I'm gonna reset this pulse station. I did that much easier than I did the last time here, and I'm gonna try to reset this one one-handed. There we go. Please. Ah, oh, darn it. We good, we good, we got it. All right, and I will reset the system now. Right. there is the battery trouble so now I've set the system to continuous uh, so this is probably just gonna do one shine and then it's mostly just gonna be the Genesis uh, but to do that we are going to activate the NBG 12 L Alright, and I'm going to reset the, not reset the system quite yet because I didn't reset the pull station. So I just got to grab my key. There we go. Just drop that off there. Now we will reset the system. So now I'm going to test something on the board that I'm not sure if I've even tested yet. We're going to be testing the Nest Protect. So that'll be fun. All right. So that uh, I'm going to disable zone one so that way the main system doesn't go off. Uh, yep. And I'm going to grab the the Smoke Centurion. And I'm getting wires caught in my foot. Ah, darn it. All right, there we go. So, here we go. I'm just gonna drop that off there. There it goes. Heads up, there's smoke in the basement. The alarm may sound. It's going to be loud. Emergency. Smoke alarm silenced in the basement. Perfect. That works. Awesome. Uh, hopefully that doesn't go off again because I did silence it. There's the notification on my phone, by the way. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I did. Yep. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go off again. I'm just going to blow at it. Right. 
Good. The smoke alarm is over. Perfect. Uh, hopefully that doesn't go off again. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, and this shouldn't go off. I want to think it would, so I'm going to re-enable that zone. All right. Make sure it's not showing any more troubles. Looks good. Perfect. Perfect. So, we now know everything on the board works. Well, except for the fire extinguisher. We don't know if that works, but we can't really test it because it's like one-time use and all that stuff. And I can't confirm that the fixed element of this thing works because, they, again, it's a one-time use thing. I'm not going to test it. But other than that, we know that that works and we know that the rate of rise of this works. We know that these all these pulse stations work. We know all these notification appliances work. And now we can confirm that this is working properly. So that's good. That's good. Uh, so yeah, that is the system test. Uh, thank you guys all for coming out um, to uh, this video. I am terrible with outros usually. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It definitely smells like smoke detector tester. Uh, hopefully it doesn't trigger that. Uh, yeah, we will see. We will see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks for coming out. Bye, everyone. Bye. It went off again.